Hi, welcome to my tutorial today. Today I'll be showing you how to do size alteration such as Ant-Man powers. With that being said, let's get into it. So as always, the first thing we need to do is we need to set up a input mapping. So we want to go to Edit, Project Settings under Configuration. Then what we want to do is we want to go to Input, and we're going to keep, I have some of my old stuff in here. Um, so we're going to go in and we're going to add in size change as an input. Okay, so we're just going to name it size change. This is a name, you can change it to whatever you like. I'm going to call it size change. And we're going to do this on the F key. So we're going to do this on, actually I think the F key might be taken, let's do Q. So we'll do this on Q. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go in here and we want to change this character so he will change size whether it's bigger or smaller depending on an input for us. Okay? We want to go into our character, the character blueprint. Now what we want to do is we want to go in where we right click, type in size change, which was the event that we got here. This is the event number, press Q, activate it. Okay? And then what we want to do is we want to, on press, we want to flip flop. Okay? And we want to, on A, because what we're going to do is we're going to do big and then small. What we're going to do is we're going to do A, and we're going to make this set actor transform. So we want to set actor transform. Okay. Now we want to right click on where it says new transform. Right click it and click split struct pin. Okay. And now for the new transform location, we need to get the actor location. Because when we change the size, it's going to change the location. So we want to get actor location. Okay. So anytime we run this code, it's going to get the location of this actor up here that we're in, in the world space, and it's going to change it to that. And then what we want to do is we want to get a lerp vector. Um, actually, let's do, let's do, yeah, lerp vector. And what this is going to do is it's going to change smoothly based on the value we give it. So we want this to be the actor location, okay, so let's see here, actually no, this is going to be our default size is 1.1.1, so that's the default size which you can see here, 1.1.1, so we want to get that, we want to set the alpha to 1 which is going to be the size at which it changes at, the speed, um, and then what we want to do is we want to change these values. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this to a float. So we're going to do float to vector float. Okay? And then we are going to store this as 0 0.3. Okay? And so now it will, what it will do is it will on size change. It will take the actor transform, get the location of it, and then reduce the size on a lerp, which is basically a smooth transition between from 1.0 to 0.3 okay and then what we want to do is we want to take this code okay and we want to control C control V and now what we want to do is we want to switch this so we want to switch this up okay because we're taking the opposite of this it's going to do A first and then B so if we're small and we want to get big again, you repress the size change key, which is Q, and then it will do this. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to test this. Okay? We're running around. Alright, we're running around. And then we press, press Q, and now we're small. Now we do have an issue where the, we can jump big again, and then we can do that. And this is basically Ant-Man powers. Now what I want to do is I want to add giant powers to it, so it's not just small, okay? So what we need to do is we need to go on here, and we need to determine whether size change is going to be small, and then we need to set an input for a large. So we are going to basically do the same thing. We're going to go to Edit, Project Settings, Edit, Project Settings, and we're going to create size change large as an input. Size change large. 
Okay, and we're gonna make this. Um, we're gonna make this, I guess, E. Or actually, let's do F. Let's do F. Okay. So now on Q, it's gonna make you smaller. On F, it's gonna make you larger. So basically, we want to take this code. Okay. And then we want to multiply it. But we want to change the input to size change large. Okay. And there are ways you can do this with all one input, but for player ease of use and this tutorial series, we're going to do two inputs. Um, all right, so now we're going to make the large one. We're going to do this as 10.0. This is probably going to be pretty big, but um, it'll it'll work. So turning a float into a vector, what that does is it's going to set the value for each one. So x, y, and z are all going to use 10. Okay, so now let's test this out. Whoops, whoops, I messed up. I think I have some old code in here. I need to switch this to like Z or something. Okay, all right. So now if we go in, right, um, we press Q, now we can get big. But if we press big, we have this issue where it, the character is too big for the camera, as you can see, right? He's flipping through. So what we want to do is we want to go in and we want to take the camera and parent it to the mesh. So when the mesh moves in size, the camera moves with it. And then we also have another issue that we need to fix. We need to get the actor location plus for the large. We need to plus that by a vector. Okay, so we're going to add a vector to that on the z-axis of about 250 probably. I would say. And then we are going to, or hold on. No, my bad. We want to make this, we want to make the zero on this one. This is the one that we want to do it on. We could probably change this if needed, but okay. We're going to put this at 250 above, so that means above the ground is zero, we're going to go 250 above it. So when we press it, now it's big, and we can walk on the wall. Okay, um, we do have an issue where the camera is too far back, so what we're going to do is to put a new camera on there. So we're going to create a new camera, okay, and we're going to add this to the camera boom. And then we are going to set it far back, like pretty far back. Uh, that should be that should be good. Um, we'll put it up a little bit, and then on button press, we are going to for the large. We're going to set the camera to be active. Set active. Okay. And then we need to. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna move this stuff out a little bit. Okay, so now we need to set the follow camera to be unactive. Set active. We get set active again and we uncheck it. And now what this is going to do is it will do this and we're just going to copy this. Okay, and this could be any size you want, but we're going to do 10. So giant man and small man. Um, okay. So now we get big. It's too far back, um, so we'll have to fix that. But we can get small, and that's going to fix it. Um, so let's go ahead and make the camera closer and test it out real quick. It's still too far back. So we want to just bring it a little closer. Um, it's just really far back. And then closer down. And now when we we are big and see each other we can walk around really big um, and yeah this is how you do size alteration okay and then we're big again all right small big so 
small. There we go. Um, and then that's how you do it. Thank you for watching. If you like this superhero tutorial, um, give me a follow. I do more of them.